Well, I was born blind um, 69 years ago. Um, my mother had rubella, so obviously I've, I've, been, I've got congenital rubella syndrome. And then I've got something called um, atomic cataracts. No idea what they are. Um, and I went through life mainly through my teenage years and my early life. Um, got married and had children seem, being blind as well and working. And um, I've got no sight in my right eye whatsoever. I've never had any. I'm a left eye. I've got 1%, uh, no peripheral. And it's just basically in the centre. But I think because I've been blind so long, I tend to uh, not make allowances, but I, I know where things should be roughly in a door or things should be uh, where people are and a shape and I see the odd shape and it depends on the light or uh, the weather or something, whether it's a good day or a bad day. I had a couple of operations um, last November and January and uh, had good feedback from there. Um, I also come to the clinic, the eye clinic, yearly at the moment to get my glaucoma pressure check, clinic three. They seem to have no knowledge of how to treat a blind person. And I, I get that people come into the hospital and are very scared and they bring people because it's the first time they've had a problem with their eyes. But we're not all like that. And just, we come on our own on a, with our, ourselves, a dog or a stick, and we just need to be told there's a seat to your right, or would you like me to help you find a seat, dear, you know? And then to be kept updated whether you're going to be, um, whether there's a length of time or no, because my appointment was at 9 a.m. and I didn't get out till 10 to 12. If I had to ask what time, how long I was going to be there, about half past 10. And again, nobody had been to me, so I managed to walk the walker over to the desk, bang into the desk and say, excuse me. And again, it was, well, you'll have to wait and um, we'll go and find out. You might miss your next appointment. Um, go and find a seat. And it's just the lack of empathy or training that not everybody is the same. Uh, it made me feel angry. I don't really try to get angry, but it made me feel sad because I'm trying to be as independent. I'm trying to make sure I can communicate um, and go do things all on my own without asking too much help. I know where Clinic 3 is. I know where Clinic 14 is. But to be fair, if I have to go for anything else, when I had my hernia um, and I had various other things, um, because I've been quite lucky. I've had to book hospital transport because there's no way I would get round. I've no idea, you know. If they had, uh, I don't know what the solution is, maybe a, a couple of sort of sighted guides around that could you be, be at the door that if they know somebody like me is coming in, that they could guide you to where you need to go. I mean, uh, last year when it was COVID and it was restricted, Angela came to me with, the, um, came and met me at the door, Clinic 3. Uh, you know the outpatients and again I can't when I come in I can't see if you have to wear masks uh, where the hand gel is where the lines are on the floor um, I've got no idea you know so I just blunder along I mean I did have a, um, a, a mammogram a couple of weeks ago <coughs> and that's at the Rosie isn't it round the back somewhere well I had no idea to go the taxi man knew where to go so I had to take my taxi man with me for, and he's 40 odd and I'm 60 odd take him with me to show me where to go I did ring up the uh, people when I booked the appointment and she said to me well just come in and look for a volunteer and I went is that that's that's more difficult than you know finding it difficult enough being retired and being sort of out and being having to to do everything and I enjoy mixing with people, I enjoy doing things and I just, I struggle with not going anywhere, not doing anything. I know I'm just going off a bit, but when you come here you think, oh there's lots of people, I could talk to them, you know. Um, but nobody talks to you and nobody wants to really acknowledge you, if that makes sense. Mm. You feel sort of isolated really, I suppose.